Do you remember the Botham Jean case in 2018 that occurred in Dallas, Texas? The case caught the attention of the masses because Botham John was in his own apartment eating ice cream and watching TV when he was fatally shot. Well, the wrongful death case concerning Botham John has come to an end. His family was recently awarded $100 million. So as most of you may recall, this case was absolutely diabolical. Botham John was shot and killed by an off-duty officer by the name of Amber Geiger. Okay, so apparently she supposedly entered the wrong apartment and she mistakenly mistook it for hers. Okay, now she lived on the third floor while Botham John lived on the fourth floor with a similar unit number. 1378 versus 1478. The jurors came to the conclusion that Amber Geiger was reckless and that she did indeed shoot Botham with malice. She's now serving a 10 year sentence in prison. Botham John's family was originally seeking $54 million, but was given 60 million for damages and 38.6 million in compensatory damages. Now, a crime scene expert during the closing arguments of the case determined that Amber Geiger also was in danger and that Jean never moved towards her in the apartment based on the crime scene. If you watch the court case, then you know that Amber Geiger tried to make it seem as if she thought her life was at risk. She completely lied. And now we have her serving a 10 year sentence, which her sentence is almost up. More than likely, she's going to get out on good behavior. And there's that. It must be noted that earlier this fall, Amber Geiger was up for parole in which she was denied. Both of John's family said that today, I think that justice was served and that we are thankful and we pray it will be be a lesson for the authorities. I'm not the least bit surprised at the family's statement, okay, because during the court session, Botham John's brother, he asked the judge to let him go hug Amber Geiger, the woman that killed his brother, dead, okay? So I want to know what you guys think, okay? This case never sat well with me. I'm still not understanding how law enforcement or anyone can come into your home and shoot and kill you dead and you get 10 years, okay? We know of drug dealers who get more time, okay? So y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Do you you think justice was served or should Amber Geiger have gotten more punishment? Let me know.